Fishdom is a mobile game where players match tiles showing aquatic items like shells, pearls, and starfish. Users earn points and buy decorations for their aquarium. It's a simple game, the kind of thing you might see played in a waiting room or airport gate. Since its release in 2008 by Playrex, a gaming company owned by Russian billionaires Dmitry and Igor Buckman, the app has found widespread popularity in the Play and App Store. With its rise in popularity, a subreddit was created for the game on March 9, 2019. It has remained relatively small, with only 285 subscribers as of March 2023. At first glance, the posts seem unremarkable, with users asking for tips, providing advice, and coordinating groups. Underneath, there's a grotesque and cryptic world filled with violent imagery, disturbing messages, and ciphered codes. What started as a simple subreddit for a mobile game has now become a sinister mystery. What is the purpose of our fishdom, and how did it become overrun by a bizarre death cult? The Fishdom subreddit was founded by Jylon10, who remains one of its most active posters. Prior to the creation of the subreddit, Jylon10 appeared to be an active Redditor who has used the site for over six years and earned over 15,000 karma. While his early activity is relatively innocuous, things would take a turn for the bazaar in 2019, beginning shortly after his first post in the community, which reads simply, Fishdom has been created. Fishdom subreddit. At first glance, the sidebar and flares provide little explanation to the purpose of this community. However, the rules do provide some insight. While the list begins with relatively reasonable guidelines, they grow increasingly bizarre. Some rules discourage discussion about other boards or with banned users. They encourage cordiality and attempt to prevent cursing and hostility among users. However, other rules are not as orthodox. They are puzzling and seem unfit for inclusion. The moderators demand that subreddit events be enjoyed without question, they demand Percocet or nitrous oxide if meeting in person, and they discourage requests for funds or favors. A thread pinned by the moderator claims to offer support to players. Three phone numbers are listed with the corresponding names of individuals. Terry D, Ted K, and Margaret T. User post histories imply these names represent Terry Davis, the schizophrenic programmer responsible for creating Temple OS, Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, and Margaret Thatcher, the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. The area codes trace the phone numbers to the Australian states of Victoria and Tasmania, and needless to say, they do not appear to belong to any sort of official support hotline. As of February 2023, the numbers are not operational. These same phone numbers reoccur on another post by the same user, this time overlaid on an image of George W. Bush. In the initial months, the subreddit was filled with low-effort posts, but things took a strange turn on June 16, 2019, when Jylon10 posted an image of the Haitian revolutionary, General Toussaint Louverture, spamming the comments section with the motto of the French Revolution. The content in subsequent posts would frequently reference the French Revolution and religious themes until eventually devolving into appeals for violence and self-destruction. Another user, Fishdom Administrator, would rail against atheism. Atheists will not be tolerated in this world. In the creek, atheism will not be tolerated. I took off his head and put him the bin before I put him in the creek. 
Jesus, have mercy on me. In another post, the same user would claim to follow the cult of the Supreme Being, a failed religious movement promoted by Maximilien Robespierre during the French Revolution that was intended to replace Catholicism and the cult of reason as the new state religion for the French Republic. Robespierre's promotion of the cult is thought to have played a part in his fall from power. References to Robespierre are common on the subreddit, with some posts suggesting that users worship Robespierre himself. Other posts are flared with the word Girondin, the name of a group of activists during the French Revolution who opposed Robespierre's political faction. During the Reign of Terror, several Girondin leaders were publicly executed by guillotine. The purpose of the Garandan flare, as stated by Jylon 10, was to quarantine posts and prevent any interaction, otherwise users would risk being banned. These religious and revolutionary themes would be developed further, but it's important to note that not all of the posts were as cogent or coordinated. A series of posts, titled Excerpt, consist of unsettling, seemingly nonsensical strings of words by Jylon 10. For instance, excerpt 20 reads, Thin-walled micron membrane uterine dispatch honor, charge into hubris, mistake, overkill, terror, euphoria, temporary good, donate for life, value, living, trip, ditch, whole, donate for death. Excerpt 26 states, Staring iris clamps, the jugular heart heaves bile into my chest, drowning shiver spinal tap, the shoulder fight, the flight, overhead in pieces, sniper sight, faces can't divert, path, clutch, driving rods into my skull, road away pupils trained to pray binocular vision. These posts read like abstract modern poetry, bot posts, or perhaps coded communication. The religious zealotry continued, driving the creation of our blood cross. Created on July 5th, 2022, it received cross traffic after Genesis Woman posted, Our blood cross needs your healthy fish help. I don't know what's going on here. But most of you are psychotics and religious, so just spam my subreddit with your things, and God will stop murdering children in Africa. God is no gentle and hate rats. Many of the posts on our blood cross are still visible on the internet archive. These posts contain reference to blood and sex with disturbing and graphic topics that cannot be shown here. One user began creating identical posts with sinister religious themes, and they were posted at the same time every day, suggesting this account was a bot, or worryingly, part of some elaborate ritual. The Blood Cross subreddit was only operational for half a year before it was banned in early 2023 for being unmoderated. However, the religious fervor reached its culmination on the Fishdom subreddit with the creation of the Chimera event, which led to some of the most haunting mysteries yet. The Chimera event began in February 2022 with a post from Jylon titled Chimera event is here and contains a heavily manipulated and inscrutable image. A follow-up post by Turk Hack Team reads, Past and present absolve us, but this world is sick. The macrobacterium of the earth feed and emerge like cancer. This carved rock scarred by plague. Whatever created this, so wrote the future. But it must be made by us. Robespierre met with Azazel in 1794. His work so just but quashed by the sickness itself. The Supreme Being granted power by Enoch and suffered for the sins of all humanity. Not a god of creation or tyranny, but a god created by man to represent knowledge. The Chimera is knowledge itself. 
The chimera is human culture. The chimera is all of us. The chimera is the only force that can liberate us now. This was not the first event on the subreddit. Previously, there was the short-lived and unremarkable Terry Davis event, who was previously mentioned in connection with the hotline number. There was also the Apedom event, which was relatively subdued in comparison. Many of the posts related to Apedom were relegated to a separate subreddit, consisting only of users from r fishdom. The posts there are nearly identical to those on the fishdom subreddit. Many of the subsequent posts flared with Chimera event are deranged and disturbed with references to murder, assault, and self-destruction. Some include images of fishdom screenshots overlaid with demented text, many of which cannot be shared here. Around this time, a post was published containing an image of Enochian script, a constructed language invented by 16th century occultists who believed it to be the language of angels. The title and contents appear to be nonsensical at first. Additional investigation found many similar posts. However, these messages are encrypted using a Caesar cipher whereby users substitute one letter in place of another. Once decrypted, the Anakian post contains the following messages. I am losing my mind. Suicide is hopeless. The Chimera is free. Some of the Chimera event posts also show maps and coordinates, one linking to a location named Asheron Reserve with the caption X marks the spot. Asheron Reserve is a park in Doncaster, Australia, a suburb of Melbourne. Many of the phone numbers listed in previous posts can be traced back to the same area of Australia. Other posts reference GPS coordinates which resolve to the same location. Bring pictures of a man you will to this location. These wouldn't be the only set of GPS coordinates posted. In 2021, user Turk Hack Team made a post titled Fishdom Administrator Post, Year 4. The post claims to be a transcript of a physical leaflet handed out at R. Fishdom International Summit and addresses controversies involving R. Fishdom and recent events with subreddit users. It also contains a mission statement which promotes the worship of Robespierre and the Supreme Being and advocates for a united Turkish hegemony. The user Fishdom Administrator spammed replies with a set of four coordinates. These coordinates correspond to four different locations around the globe. The first resolves to a beachfront tourist area in Bali. The second leads to an urban area in the Moroccan town of Bouznika. The third appears to be an unremarkable residential area in French Guiana. And the last set of coordinates lead to a supermarket in Finland. These destinations form a roughly triangular shape when plotted on a map. However, their significance remains unclear. Despite thematic interpretation, decryption, and geo-coordination, the truth behind fishdom remains a mystery. Perhaps by examining the post-history of these users, we may be able to infer their identities or determine the purpose of their posts. The Turk Hack Team account was created in February 2021, and the first post reads, I have arrived. This account frequently posted links to TurkHackTeam.com, a Turkish forum related to cybersecurity, terrorism, cryptography, social engineering, and more. This account is oddly similar to several others on the board. For example, posts from Jylon10 and Fishdom Administrator are frequently flared with Turk Hack Team. The Fishdom Administrator account was created on September 4th, 2020, more than a year after the founding of the subreddit. 
and all of the subsequent posts are related to Fishdom. Notably, this user commonly spammed links to the Fishdom subreddit in other communities, such as those dedicated to intermittent fasting, coupons, and the University of Melbourne. Presumably, the reason for this would be to drive traffic to the subreddit, but why? Additional posts include GPS coordinates of the Ashron Reserve in Melbourne. In a post from February 2022 about Jylon 10's ban from Reddit, Fishdom Administrator commented that he did not want this account to be banned too, suggesting that the same person may own both accounts. Many of the accounts that predate the Fishdom subreddit share similarities with these presumed shell accounts and each other. The account Sparin, created in 2018, claimed to be an iOS developer and frequently posted on the r jailbreak subreddit. He shared a jailbroken version of Spotify uploaded to Google Drive, which listed the account owner's name as Aaron. Another frequent poster, Leasing Block, was connected to a Twitter account with the display name Aaron. These are only a few of the most active users. These and other accounts share connections with Melbourne, Australia and the University of Melbourne. Are these shell accounts all owned by the same person? And if so, why would someone go to all this trouble? While the evidence is in no way conclusive, the strange and disturbing content of the Fishdom subreddit may be explained by several theories. The first is that users of the subreddit are engaged in covert communication. The seemingly nonsensical posts and strange references could be a form of coded language whose meaning is only known to those within the group allowing them to discuss illegal or immoral acts in the open on a public forum. The references to assault, violence, and destruction could be a clue to the nefarious purpose of the subreddit. The coordinates could signify locations for subreddit users to meet up or to arrange dead drops of sensitive material. This theory is intriguing, but unlikely. There is very little about these communications that is covert the graphic and violent content of their posts is likely to draw more attention rather than obscure meaning. Additionally, it is unlikely that people who are involved in criminal activity would openly post coordinates, particularly after going to the trouble of creating a cipher to encode their messages. Lastly, the posts advertising the Fishdom subreddit to other communities would draw unnecessary attention to the group especially for users who had exposed their potential location and background. A second theory is that the subreddit is part of an alternate reality game, or ARG. Perhaps the users of the subreddit are intentionally leaving a trail of clues to lead readers deeper into an internet mystery. Certainly, the story hits on a lot of common themes in ARGs, such as coded messages, mysterious coordinates, and suggestions of a dark conspiracy. However, if this is the case, the ARG is incomplete or indecipherable. There is little clarity with the accessible evidence. It's just a collection of self-referential symbols and strange posts that lead in circles. Perhaps it's more likely that there is no great mystery and the strange content of the subreddit is merely a manifestation of a disturbed mind. Is it possible that the bizarre references to Robespierre and the Chimera event are not clues to an underlying puzzle or conspiracy, but simply the obsession of a person or several persons who are mentally unwell? It is well known that people suffering from psychosis may develop religious delusions, and strange, incoherent writing can also be a symptom of mental illnesses such as schizophrenia. In fact, Terry Davis, who is referenced by several users and multiple posts, suffered from this form of religious delusion. However, this theory wouldn't explain how so many of these accounts predate the Fishdom subreddit and have seemingly normal posts in other communities. The final possibility is the most sinister of all. 
The subreddit and frequent posters are conducting a meaningless and absurd prank. These users have taken over a forum for an innocuous mobile game and filled it with gruesome content. The fact that this could continue for so long without any attention is alarming. It's unsettling to think that these users who are clearly educated in erudite topics like the French Revolution, Anakian script, and theological scripture would spend their time here for a joke without a punchline. We are left with more questions than answers. What appeared to be an innocent online community for a popular mobile game morphed into a disturbing underworld of violence, death, and mystery. The truth may never be fully known, but what is clear is that the internet has the power to unite people with shared interests and twisted desires. And while we may think we know the true nature of the online world, the Fishdom subreddit serves as a dark reminder that there are still unsolved mysteries and dangers lurking in the shadows of the web, waiting to be uncovered.